So, went onto the Daily Mail website, found a little snippet of information. It turns out that in June this year, the end of June this year, 2014, in a, from a collection in Ireland, they found a cardboard box containing 80 unused World War I 1914 Christmas tins that have never been sent out to the front. So it just goes to show they're still turning up. Um, unfortunately, all of these Christmas tins had never been sent to the factory to be filled. When they opened the Christmas tins at some special event in June this year, what they found out, each tin only contained the pencil and the Princess Mary card. But apparently some company is auctioning them off sometime and they're expecting a rather optimistic £300 a piece for them, which to me is too excessive because one with all its original contents is only 250 to £300. So I think they're expecting a bit too much. But it just goes to show, a little snippet of information like that um, is still available. Also on the Daily Mail website, there's a little thing that you click on, some article about some American World War II aeroplanes have been found in some outback place in Ohio in America. But when you click on the information, the thing's no longer on the website. So what that's about, I don't know. Anyway, um, went to my local branch of McCall's to pick up the King's shilling today, which I've got it. And I had a word with the person and I said, how many have you got? And they went down there on the floor. There's a box. Each box um, has 200 in there. says, how many boxes have you got? Just the one. So it turns out that every shop to every branch has only received one box of 200. Now, by my reckoning, WH Smith have got 607 shops in the UK. They've received 121,400 coins. Um, McCall's have 544 shops. They've received 108,800. Morrison's, no Martin's, have got 500 shops. They've received 100,000. Morrison's have got 500 shops, so they've received 100,000. So in total, some 430,200 of these have been made available as from today, the 12th of July 2014, by clipping out the token in the Daily Mail, refer to the previous video, and you can just toddle into your local shops, one of the four, and get one of these. Now, I reckon a total of 430,200 is a little bit low, so let's say for argument's sake, 500,000 are available. So, they're never going to be worth a fortune, they're never going to be a collector's item, they're not going to turn up on Antiques Roadshow, um, but as an item that you get through the newspaper for 95 pence, you can't really argue with that, it is what it is, it's an excellent little thing, it's a kind of um, retro King Shilling. The original King Shilling was a proper shilling coin. This one has been made as a commemorative medallion, which incorporates bits from uh, that would have been on the original shilling. Like it's got the king's head on this side, the front. It's got the lion on the king's crown this side, both of which would have been on the original shilling, but it's been adapted as a commemorative coin. It comes on a kind of reproduction cardboard postcard, it's kind of in a plastic frame. The frame is hinged down this side. And the good thing about it is you can actually, if I can get it open, you can actually open it like a book and you can get into it to get the coin out. So we'll take a look at this. As I said, just become available today if you follow the last two videos. So this is part three of this series of videos. Um, I did upload this video this morning, but when I put it on, there was, there was hardly any sound to it. So that was quite annoying. So I'll have to remember to look through my videos before I post them. Um, so part four of this video will be a look at the Repro Christmas tin as and when I get it. It won't be till probably in August sometime by the time you get all the tokens collected. But the Christmas tin that the Daily Mail is offering as a Repro is not that crappy Indian made reproduction that I, I reviewed ages ago. It's a tin that's been purposely made for the Daily Mail. It's a brand new tin, so I'll have to update me um, Christmas tin video. Because I, I only said that a few weeks ago, that the only repro, known repro, is the uh, Indian made one. Well, as from when this tin comes out, that isn't going to be the case. 
and I think the tin may be full size. So for the time being, this is the commemorative King Shilling medallion available through the Daily Mail as of today. So we'll dismount the camera and we'll have a look at it and hopefully the frigging sound on this video will be better than the one in the last one. So we'll take a look at this. So, it comes in this little frame. First World War Commemorative King's Shilling Daily Mail. That's the front. You've got a representation of the front of the original shilling. But in this case, it's got the Daily Mail Commemorative Coin. On the other side, it's on like a reproduction postcard back. Between 1914 and 1918, more than 6 million men from Britain and Ireland enlisted to serve in the First World War. Upon enlisting, they received a King's Shilling, which was a day's pay for a private. The expression to take the King's Shilling, dating back to the 18th century, meant that a man had agreed to serve as a soldier or sailor. And then you get the back of it, which is the Lion and Crown is representative of an original shilling. You've got the 1914 date, but it says World War I, 1914, 1918. And the good thing about the way this has been encapsulated is you can open it up like a little book you can flip out the cardboard the coins held in like a recess you can pop it out and you can have a look at it now from what I can see it looks like the coins copper because it's got a bit of scratching here and there it looks like it's copper which has been plated in this kind of gunmetal one of the better commemorative items to come out so far you can see the coppery finish on the edge there so it's one of the better commemorative items but with so many being made it's not going to be worth a great deal of money so i don't think there's any need to rush out and get multiple coupons fill them in and get multiples of these i think one one will suffice as an example because it's never going to be worth a fortune so that's new as from today the 12th of july the Daily Mail World War One Commemorative King Shilling Medallion. And as I say, it sits in its little recess. The little cardboard thing goes into there. That clicks together. So it's a nice little keepsake item. <laughs> 